you, can you start out by uh, assessing Robert's play and what happened on the pick? Uh, well, obviously, I, I'm going to take responsibility for that because at the end of the day, I think when we get down there, I got to do a better job of making sure he understands we got to take care of the ball better. I just, uh, you know, it's unfortunate he tried to stick a ball in there in that situation. I just got to make sure that I put him in those situations enough time so that doesn't happen. So, again, that's a, a learning experience for him that he's got to grow from, especially when we're in that situation where we have a chance to score. Got to do a great job of taking care of the ball. So that's on me. I just got to do a better job of, of coaching him and putting him in those spots so that he understands that situation with exactly what to do. Did Barnage do the right thing on that play? Well, I think the coverage, they thought it was one thing, and it changed at the last second. And again, that's not Barnage, that's not Rob. We just need to do that a little bit better, and we will. Um, there are reports that Terrell went in with, for x-rays with a wrapped hand, and that Isaiah went in for x-rays with a shoulder injury. Do you have any No, I think those guys will be fine. I don't, you know, I think they'll be fine there. Two interception aside, Robert hadn't played live football against an opposing defense in like a year. What did you think overall of just the way he handled it? Well, I thought, the, I thought he handled it. I thought he had great poise. I think everything was great. Obviously, the first play was outstanding. And then um, I think after that, you know, again, like you said, maybe not playing or whatever that is. I just think some things that we just got to continue to, to, to harp on, not just him, just our whole offensive football team. Uh, we're used to kind of starting fast. And so we had a chance to do that, and we didn't capture that. So we just need to get better as a unit. It's not just him. I think it's all 11 guys. What about um, Terrell's first catch, how he tracked the ball and how, how he went down? I thought it was outstanding. I think Terrell is growing each and every day. But uh, again, I think just think as a unit, you know, we need to continue to get better. What do you tell Cody Kessler with the two safeties? Uh, uh, that, I mean, we're going to grow from that too. Again, it was his first opportunity out. Uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, but again, I mean, I'm going to take responsibility for all those things. I got to coach this, this group better, and we will. We'll get them better. Cam Irving at times, uh, you know, it's hard to tell exactly who's, you know, giving up a pressure, but at times it looked like he may have struggled a little bit. Is that an accurate perception? Or, or, or? Right, I probably won't know that until I get a chance to watch the tape, you know, and, um, and make that assessment. But I, I, again, I think it's just as an offensive unit overall, we didn't play the way we think we're capable of playing. And uh, we'll go back to work on Sunday and get better. Do you think that Hugh, uh, um, I'm sorry, do you think that um, Cam Irving being out for over a week with an elbow injury, he had to maybe knock some of the rust off? Is that possibly uh, I, a factor? I mean, again, until I get a chance to watch the tape, we don't really know. But again, I think we can we, we can get better, and we got to get better. So we'll, we'll go back to work on Sunday. Hugh, after better. two weeks of practice, are you surprised by this offensive performance, or did you expect? No, I didn't expect it. I would never expect this. But at the same time, we all know these things are capable of happen, happening when you travel and go somewhere else and playing against a different opponent because we had our opportunities to score. you know. And, and obviously, when you do that, you, you feel confidence. But we didn't get it done. So we'll go back and go back to work. First play of the game, 49 yards. Did you, did you want to take a shot play there? Is it something that oh, it was a shot the play. line? No, it was a shot play. I mean, we kind of we go after people. We do. And we're able to do that. But again, you know, we just got to become a consistent group and a consistent group that can move the ball through the air and through land. So we'll go back to work. And um, again, I can tell what we need to get done, and we'll get it done. Hugh, what's your biggest takeaway from the defense? Uh, stars were out there for a series, but mm -hmm. what can you, well, you I thought, gain from you know, that? I thought the defense, I thought they battled. You know, I thought they gave us a chance to defensively overall, not just the starters. I just thought the whole unit gave us a chance to stay in the game. Uh, but again, on defense, one of our goals, we've got to take the ball away. You know, we got one. Uh, we want to get more. And so uh, we understand there are some things that I thought we did pretty well, and there are some things that we need to improve on uh, as we move forward. Danielle, um, why did you uh, let Murray kick the field goal instead of Coons's? Uh, just like I said, we, we're always looking at different combinations and giving guys different opportunities. I wouldn't read anything into that. But again, you know, we're going to keep giving guys chances to see if they're if they can get things done, you know, regardless whether it's uh, a young guy or an older guy, and just kind of mixing and matching and seeing what we can get done. Hugh, do you have any other injuries besides uh, Rennell Hall and Austin Davis? Um, those are the ones that are, are the ones that are uh, the biggest ones right now. You know, obviously we'll see what Rennell is. I think he has a, a knee, you know, ankle, excuse me. He has an ankle and Austin probably has a concussion. So we'll just kind of um, see what they are as we evaluate them. Good. That's it.